What is up guys? It's Christopher Barnett here, back at you with another YouTube video. And uh, I'm gonna have this video kind of span across a few days. Um, but to kickstart this video, we're actually gonna begin with an unpackaging uh, from VQ Fit, Vanquish Fitness. If you guys haven't already guessed, I love their clothing. Uh, it's perhaps my favorite uh, fitness apparel, VQ Fit. Let me show you guys what I got. I, know. I, have, a, I have a tendency though to sound like a mad casual. To sound like I'm, I'm trying too hard. You do. Okay, you're in the video. I mean, you can be in the video as long as, as long as I have your permission. You just need to sign this to me to get a release form. I just <laughs> want to see what I bought for you. <laughs> okay, okay. We took this in here because my dad had an important phone call. So, uh, put on my VQ Fit khaki sweatpants. Arguably, arguably one of my favorite uh, pairs of pants of all time. Uh, let's see, I'm going to try to find an area to put this. Um, right here. Okie dokie, guys. Long sleeve first. Three, two, one. Wow, it actually feels very nice. Again, very impressed with their material once again. It feels very nice. Nice snug fit, tight around the chest as, it's, as it should be. Uh, not too tight around here. Let's go t test this out really quickly in the mirror. Here we are, looks pretty nice. Definitely like it. Now this is a medium size. I probably could have gotten away with a small too. I'm not sure. I don't know what you guys think if I should have gotten a small or, or this medium right here. Uh, definitely a snug fit, feels very comfortable. Okay, folks, next thing we're going to try on is the Vanquish Eclipse Khaki Pullover Hoodie. Here we go, three, two, one. Wow, this actually feels very tight. I'm actually kind of surprised. Not very, very tight, but it feels tighter than I expected. Uh, this is a medium size. I'm like five foot seven, 177, 179 pounds, some, somewhere in between that. I'm gonna show you guys in the mirror really quickly. All right, here is the fit. I do need to take out a couple of tags. Uh, let's go ahead and try the hood on. All right, here we are. Definitely love the fit. Another VQ favorite right here. This goes along very nicely with pretty much any VQ fit outfit. Definitely like this, definitely would recommend it. On to the next one. All right guys, last one we do have is going to be, let's read it off, Vanquish Core Men's Stringer Vest. Uh, vest, that is. Now, I'm gonna be quite honest with you guys, this is the very first time I've ever ordered or uh, Gonna be gonna have worn a stringer tank top. It's just the very first time. I've just never really worn one. I don't know why up to this point, but we're gonna give it a go. Let's take this bad boy out. Super excited about this one. Here's what it looks like. Three, two, one. Oh wow. I'm not gonna lie. This kind of feels like I'm naked. Let's go. Ahead. I don't really know what it looks like, so I'm gonna have to look in the mirror because uh, I can't see from that far. But let's check it out. Oh wow. Man, this is like one of those one of those stringer tank tops that like you'd see Arnold with, or like one of the big, super super big super big guys on like chest day or bench day or something like that. Wow, if I'm wearing this right. I think I'm wearing it right. Yeah. Here's the back. Here's the back. Gotta show the back games, back development. I definitely like the back design for sure. Uh, for the front, I'm not sure. I think I'm, I think a medium is good for me. I don't know. Let me get know what you guys think. Definitely like this. This is a great, honestly, this is gonna be an excellent, excellent, cool uh, chest day shirt. Honestly, like, I've never worn a stringer vest before, uh, or a stringer tank top before, and this is gonna be my first time. Hopefully, uh, the gyms open up soon and I can finally wear these guys to the gym. So yeah, I definitely dig all this VQ Fit clothing so far. I definitely love the material. I love the colors. Uh, it's like not too complex. It's it's simple, but uh, at the appropriate level of simplicity. I don't know if that makes any sense. Uh, but uh, yeah, definitely would recommend. Definitely gonna buy some more VQ Fit stuff in the future so uh, stay tuned for those unboxings so like I said I'm gonna kind of spread out this vlog over a couple of days uh, later in this video uh, if you guys are interested in some at-home uh, full-body workouts please stay tuned for those uh, I know it's quarantine right now lockdown for a lot of you uh, and many of you your gyms are closed so you guys are gonna need to know um, you know some ideas as to what a good workout might look like um, an effective one you know to the best of your ability would give just a, a couple of things you know household items and stuff like that so uh, Keep watching this video, and I'll take you guys through a couple of good at-home workouts. All right, so as promised, I'm gonna take you guys through a full at-home, uh, full-body workout. Um, the only things that I'm going to be using are a backpack. Um, I'm gonna put, stuff a bunch of books in there for added resistance. Uh, number two, I'm also gonna be using a resistance band, most likely, uh, and maybe a towel. I, I will be putting the full sets, the full uh, reps, the entire breakdown throughout this workout, and I'm gonna do a little bit of a voiceover for you guys um, so you guys can know uh, what kind of pointers to keep in the back of your mind while you guys are doing this workout to make sure that you keep intensity high and to make sure that you can maintain 
and or make the most gains you possibly can given you know the current situation that we're in with this whole quarantine thing so uh really quickly today's workout is going to be powered by uh bang i've been giving these guys a go lately and this is the blue raz favorite this is the blue raz flavor uh my favorite flavor of all time for this particular brand and yeah let's hop right into it Alright guys, so really quickly, this is just going to be a couple of my warm-ups, uh, it's just a little montage of these. And also as a disclaimer, I will give you guys the sets. I know I said I would give you the specific reps, but as for all the reps, because this is an at-home kind of mostly body weight and resistance band workout, uh, it's not really, I'm not going to give you like specific reps for it. I will give you the amount of sets, but in terms of the reps, it's probably nine times out of ten it's going to be going for as many reps as possible simply because usually the resistance is not enough for you to fail at six to ten reps or so and in order to keep intensity high you want to focus on just getting as many reps as possible for these so for our first one it's going to be a superset of explosive weighted push-ups with weighted pull-ups as you can see my resistance is just going to be my backpack with just uh, a bunch of books in it for that added resistance we are going to be doing four total supersets and again every one of these is going to be as many reps as possible now for the explosive weighted push-ups i get i want you guys to focus on that slow eccentric portion at the bottom maybe three or four seconds to the bottom one, two, three, and then explode to the top. And then for the pull-ups, it's gonna be again, three to four seconds to the bottom, and then go to the top. And what you really wanna focus on is not necessarily getting your chin above the bar or wherever you are. It's more about the stretch of the lats and that constant tension of the lats. I know in Marine Corps pull-ups, uh, it's all about that, you know, extend your elbow fully and then go chin above the bar but for this particular exercise for bodybuilding purposes that's not necessarily the most important thing all right next up we have another superset it's going to be resistance band chest flies with resistance band rows as you guys can tell i put this little attachment of my resistance band into the crevice of the door now if you are doing that just be very careful you don't want it to snap back and hit you we are going to be doing three total supersets, again, as many reps as possible. And really stretch and squeeze, force as much blood into the chest as you possibly can. And then for the rows, I like to kind of keep my chin tucked just a little bit and really focus on that stretch and squeeze. And depending on which part of the back, whether it's lower or upper, will determine kind of respectively where you want to kind of row backwards, whether it's row to the belly button, row to the kind of middle portion of the chest, it kind of depends where you want to target your back. So, next up we have a tri-set actually, and we're going to be doing two total tri-sets. First one is going to be pike push-ups. It's just a push-up variation where you put your feet on an elevated surface and kind of elevate your hips. And it's kind of a shoulder exercise, so you want to keep your elbows tucked, go for as many as you possibly can. And then next we have a resistance band single side delt raises. Now again, you really want to focus on that time under tension, maximum, you know, muscle control, and really, really focus on that burn and squeeze. And then lastly for this tricep, we have this kind of front raise slash kind of upward chest fly variation. And what you really want to focus on is squeeze that upper pec as well as that anterior deltoid at the top because that's what you're mainly going to be targeting with that particular exercise, that pec major as well as that anterior deltoid. Again, as many reps as possible with controlled form. And then next up, we have another superset. We're going to be doing arms for this one. It's going to be resistance band tricep extension with resistance band single arm curls. And we're going to be doing three total supersets of as many reps as possible. Really, really focus on that squeeze and stretch. Nice controlled form, elbows tucked, and then focus on getting as many as possible until failure. And the same is going to apply with this resistance band single arm curl variation. I personally did it this way, kind of towards my face, simply because that was easier for this particular setup. But you guys can kind of do it however you want, so long as you guys are going to failure with your curls. Next up we got some legs, so for this one we're going to be doing elevated heel squats with towel hamstring curls. Now uh, we're going to be doing four total supersets, this is going to be super intense, probably the most hard part of the workout. As you can see I used some books for that elevation and I used some extra resistance with the resistance band as well as my backpack. Go for as many reps as possible. And again, keep that time under tension, don't necessarily focus on, you know, perfect depth. And then as for these kind of towel hamstring curls, what you want to focus on is keeping that kind of your thigh or your femur kind of in line with your spine, try to keep it as straight as possible in order to target your hamstrings effectively. And make sure you go for as many reps as possible and keep that constant tension on the hamstring and really focus on that squeeze like the bicep. 
And then lastly, for our upper legs, we're gonna be doing some Bulgarian split squats. Again, I added some resistance with my backpack. So we're gonna be doing three total sets of as many reps as possible on each leg. And my best advice here is go for, again, time under tension, mind-muscle connection, drive through your heel, toe, and pinky toe. And if you want, add some extra reps on your weaker leg, which is what I do with my right leg. And then for the very last exercise, very, very simple motion, going to be calf extensions, calf raises. You want to focus on a three to four second eccentric motion and then one to two second positive motion. We're going to be doing four total sets of as many reps as possible. All right, guys, so we just wrapped up the workout. Right now, before I end this video, I'm gonna show you guys a quick, simple recipe. Uh, it's gonna kinda, it's gonna be for a smoothie, a protein smoothie. It's gonna kind of mimic the Orange Dream Machine at um, Jamba Juice. If you guys have ever tried an Orange Dream Machine uh, at Jamba Juice, it was always my favorite Jamba Juice smoothie uh, growing up. So uh, it's not gonna be the exact recipe. I'm kinda guesstimating the recipe. So it's gonna be, gonna be very simple. Not the most uh, health conscious smoothie because we're gonna be using ice cream. First thing on our list is going to be orange sherb sherbet, sherbet. So first thing we got is gonna be orange sherbet. Uh, I always call it sherbet even though there's only one R in it, but anyways, I'm gonna call it orange sherbet. That's just how I like to call it. Uh, we got that, we're gonna probably add about a cup of that in there. We're gonna add some orange juice in here. We're gonna add some milk in here. If you guys don't like to have milk with your ice cream because it upsets your stomach, then try to go with soy milk. That's my recommendation. I know sometimes it bothers my stomach if I couple those two together. And then uh, lastly, we're going to have some isotope whey protein vanilla flavor. I find that vanilla flavor is best for this particular smoothie. So uh, I'm going to whip this up really quickly and then I'll give you guys a taste test in just one second. All right, so I'll blend it up right here. Kind of my version of the orange dream machine uh, if you want. Uh, so by the way, I did add a little bit of ice in this to add a little bit of thickness depending on how how thick you want it is going to uh, determine how much ice you want uh, you're just going to have to kind of guesstimate it that's what i did so you guys uh once you're at this point you guys can either use a spoon but personally i like the experience so i'm going to give myself a nice little straw right here let's go ahead and give this guy a taste test and it tastes great what do you know all right guys and gals so that's gonna wrap up this video for this week i sincerely hope you guys enjoyed it please give that workout a try uh, make sure when you guys are doing that workout make sure to keep intensity high throughout the entire time keep rest times about I would say 45 to 60 seconds max. Uh, that's going to really help with that intensity throughout the entire workout. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Make sure to give that workout a try. Comment down below if you have any comments or questions. And make sure to hit that subscribe button. Take care, everyone. Make sure we practice uh, social distancing for the time being. And yeah, that wraps it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.